Here's to the beautiful people of BunkerShock.com. I have 10 questions here in front of me they are asking me to answer, and I will do my best for you. Hope you don't mind the glasses or the grubby outfit, but I'm going fishing as soon as I'm done with this. And the answer to that is no. Now the reason for that is uh, an athlete uh, reaches a point in a time where you're just not competitive. And if you're not competitive, why would you compete? So I think I'm going to enjoy it from the other side of the ropes, probably more so than being on the inside of the ropes. <clears throat> so I hope you understand where I'm coming from there. Shooting 78 to 80 every time uh, is absolutely no fun. Just to say that you've done it. I'd much rather be able to have a shot at winning that golf tournament, which I had done. Well, I've always said, uh, you know, just forget the back surgeries, uh, three of them. I've been fortunate enough to come back and play a game that I enjoy. And I've all, always told my wife and anybody who knows me very close, I will play competitively until I, I don't enjoy it anymore or until I have to force myself to go pack my bags. Then I think that's the time to retire. Well, a number is just a number. But the competitiveness of playing the best at what they do, that's what drives a person, and that's what drives me. I enjoy beating them. They enjoy beating me. And uh, we're still friends after we're done. It's a great game, folks. Well, again, we're always looking uh, as athletes to keep your name out in front of the public's eye. Now, golf has led me to a lot of different avenues. Yes, the newest uh, thing we've got coming out is Fuzzy's Vodka. Now, I am not a wine drinker, or I surely would have gone with the wine, but uh, I do enjoy my vodka and tonics every once in a while. So hopefully uh, when you see the vodka come to your near stores, you'll give us a try, because I think you all will enjoy it. Well, the vodka not only is a good, but we're shooting at a specific target, which is the golf course market. I'm not sure there's a vodka who's ever done that. Uh, as you can see, I guess I can pull this bottle. Uh, the bottle is labeled with the golf course theme in mind, with the golf course in the back. So no other vodka has ever done that. Plus the contents inside is very smooth and I think very, very enjoyable for everyone. Well, you meet people, uh, probably three or 4,000 people weekly when you're on the tour. And I would say uh, having those friendship, um, not only here in Southern Indiana, but uh, around North America and around the world is a great feeling knowing that uh, people know you, recognize and appreciate what you do for a living. There's nothing easy about my going on the golf course, folks. Uh, I'm as competitive as there is, uh, as the day is long. Uh, I love the competitive juices. Now, the reason why I whistle is to relieve some of that tension that builds up inside uh, any competitor who plays a game, whether it be baseball, football, golf, tennis. You have to have a way to where you relax inside, and that is one way to do it. Well, I'll be very, very honest with you. When you start the game uh, at a very young age like I did, I'm 58 now and I started playing competitively when I was five, I'm sure there's something they're missing. But uh, to live here in southern Indiana, to be blessed with a talent, to go out and compete uh, with the best at what they do and have the opportunity to win such great tournaments like the Masters and the U.S. Open and also to top it off with the Senior PGA. I'm not saying my career is over with, but... Uh, I've, I've had some very exciting moments in my life. <laughs> That's a good question. I'm not real sure. Uh, one of these days, uh, maybe I'll, I'll write a book and everybody can see my bucket list. But I am, right now, not ready to fill that bucket, especially full of dust. Well, let's put it this way, that's, that's probably one of the things on the bucket list, uh, would be to host a Champions Tour event. Uh, we, we have tried without much success. Uh, I think we've got a, 
a great venue here at Covered Bridge and Champions Point. We could cater to just, just about any kind of tournament format they would ask for. Uh, as for that, we also have the Wolf Challenge, a charity tournament that has done and raised monies uh, for the people here in southern Indiana. It has been a tremendous success the last 13 years and we're looking forward for the next uh, three or four years. So hopefully that's answered all your questions, folks. If I didn't do it thoroughly, I greatly apologize, but you know, it was on the spur of the moment. So have a good day, and we'll talk to you later.